Hi guys, thanks for watching. In today's video, I thought we could spend some time together reorganizing the refrigerator. We're also going to do a little bit of meal prepping and a clean with me at the end to take care of the mess we create from getting all of this done. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please like it. Please consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. I would love to have you and let's get started. And here is your before. I'm going to keep this short because I know it's a little bit shaky. I'm still figuring out this camera. So sorry about that. Everything else is on the tripod. And as you can see, everything is everywhere. It's very unorganized. We have a ridiculous amount of cheese. I don't even know how we have that much. So I need to go through everything, see what's expired, sort it and make it a lot more functional. So let's get into it. And I'm going to be working in sections. So sometimes I'll pull everything out of the fridge, wipe it all down, put it all back in. But today I wasn't sure how much time I had. I kind of worked on this sporadically throughout the day. So that's why I decided I would do it this way. And the main shelf, the largest one on the bottom is where we keep all of our drinks. We're drink people. We always have like tons of different things on hand. We have forest milk, our baby, our milk, a bunch of different smoothie drinks, our coffee creamers, stock, and then these little like fruit pouches for forest so I'm sorting everything front to back in the very home edit style who doesn't love the home edit their pictures and their home organization is like it's beautiful so now I'm on to this little sauce container thing and we just keep this for like random sauce packets from takeout it's a container from a refrigerator we had several years ago and I've always really liked the shape of it so every time we've gotten a new fridge when we've flipped our old house and when we switched out the fridge here I always just kept this because it's very tall it's skinny it doesn't take up a lot of space and I never want to throw away sauce packets because they're always there when you need them so I'm just going through this and seeing what's expired and then I'm going to organize everything else. And now we're on to the top shelf and then we'll work on those doors. And one thing about this fridge that's kind of surprising is it's very stationary in terms of where you put things like the shelves they are where they are same with the ones on the doors and in most fridges you have the option for the shelves to go up and down depending on where you want to put things but with this one it basically is what you see so that was kind of surprising I still absolutely love this fridge I would pick it like a hundred times over mainly for the look I'm all about like having I don't know having your own look and it's very stylish obviously with the rose gold and the gold so I do love it but I don't know I just thought I would point that out because I've never seen a fridge where there isn't an option for the shelves to move around The 
the doors are wiped down and ready to go and we haven't had this fridge for a long time so luckily it just needed a wipe down it didn't need any deep cleaning I'm going to go through all of our sauces now and sort them right here so I can see how much space I'm going to need for each category before I put them back in that way I don't have to redo any sections and I told you we are drink people but we are also sauce people especially me I love sauces I love salad dressings I love to try different ones so we do seem to accumulate those really quickly We are about to get into some meal prep and recipe ideas that turned out so good and I'm really excited to share them with you because I know they're going to make our mornings a lot easier. But first I need to go through this drawer. So I'm just wiping it down and then I'm going to add everything back into its section. And what I really like about this drawer is those dividers. They're basically on like a wheel so they can just constantly slide around. You don't have to insert them into a slot. If you're putting away the groceries, your hands are full, it will basically slide for you so it's super convenient. I'm gathering all of my ingredients for the first recipe. The first one's on the sweet side, the second one's on the savory side, and these are for breakfast, but they also are great to snack on throughout the day. And I said this already, but I'm so looking forward to these making our mornings easier. This is something I really want to get into the habit of doing. And I'm also going to tell you guys, once we do the walkthrough of the fridge and I show you the after, what else is already prepped out in there. Saving yourself a few minutes here and there throughout the day so you can still eat a good meal but you don't have to start from scratch is honestly so helpful in an ocean so So this recipe I found on Pinterest and I really liked this one because it's very easy and it makes a lot. So these bars are going to last us several days. It does call for protein powder and it also says that you can completely skip this. It called for vanilla and we only had chocolate so that's what I used. One thing though is the protein powder is a pretty strong flavor in these bars. I wasn't expecting it to be as apparent as it is. So next time I'm either going to do half the protein powder or I'm going to leave it out. The the main reason I wanted to keep it in is protein powder is very filling, so I figured if I kept it in, these bars are going to last us an extra day or two. When all my troubles seem to haunt me, you uncover the truth. Cause nothing really matters when you see it from a distance, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm up I'm adding in the bananas and almonds now and what I really like about these bars is I think they're going to keep really well. They're also really versatile and that it could be for a snack, it could be for breakfast. You could eat this alone with almond butter or peanut butter on top with yogurt, with whipped cream if you want it for dessert. So this is a great thing for throughout the entire day.
Once everything is combined, it goes in the oven for around 35 minutes. This does call for a 9x13 pan, which I don't have. This one's smaller, as you can tell. So I knew it was going to take a little bit longer, and I also knew that would affect the texture. So this turned out like a muffin texture and not so much a bar texture, which honestly I like better. It feels like a little more of a treat that way. Now we are on to number two while that one is in the oven. So the first thing I'm going to do is fry some bacon. This is going to be an egg bite, and I didn't follow a specific recipe, so I'm just going to tell you what I did along the way. The amount of eggs you need is going to depend on your muffin tin and how many slots there are. So this one has 12 and I was looking through a lot of different recipes. They almost all said to only fill it halfway because the egg will rise a lot in each of the muffin tin sections. I decided to fill it three quarters and I didn't care if it was really tall or it puffed over a little because I thought the bigger the better. Hopefully if I make them a little larger they are a little more filling and they last us. A little longer it's all about saving time in the long run the bacon is done so I'm going to chop that up I'm adding the bacon into all of them and then in half of the egg bites I'm using pepper jack cheese and the other half I'm using the Colby Jack cheese and I didn't add any seasonings because Forrest is going to be eating these he's only 14 months old but if yours are all for adults or for kids who are older I would add salt pepper red pepper flakes and anything else you like You could do better than wasting time on me And I admit it felt so tough But baby, I guess this is how it's meant to be I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away to LA for a minute Here I am adding in those two eggs. So I think I did a total of eight eggs for a 12 slot pan. And the last recipe I read for egg bites said 400 degrees for 13 to 14 minutes. I felt like that was going to be too hot and I think I was right. I think it cooked a little bit too fast. So next time I'm going to try 350 or 375 and see how that goes. There was a little bit of extra bacon, which I was excited about because we can use that for sandwiches throughout the next few days. So I'm just going to put everything back and here is how the first one turned out the oat bake with berries I'm so excited about this it really was easy and that's saying a lot for someone who never cooks as you guys know And here is how the egg bites turned out. This one is so quick and easy. And honestly, I'm going to be doing this a lot now. The fact that I don't have to make breakfast every day and we will have these in the fridge so that we can pop in the microwave and go along with our day, get ready, get work done, and we don't have to stop and make a mess in the kitchen. It's the best feeling ever. Mom life, it's the little things that honestly just make your day. So I'm putting them in the meal prep containers. And then I wanted to show you guys how we plan to eat them. So this is the egg bites. And you can also have hot sauce on these, add extra cheese, whatever you like. We will definitely be adding avocado. We are a big avocado family for sure. And then I also will be showing you guys the oat one in just a second on a plate. But first, I'm going to cut it. You want to let this sit and cool for a while as long as you can. I cut into it a little bit too soon. So it did come out pretty easy, but I know if I waited a little longer, it would have come out even easier. It was like steaming, as you can tell still. I just wanted to get it in in the fridge and get to bed. It was like 11 o'clock at this point. So I'm putting these in the meal prep container and then I will show it to you on a plate.
All right, so those two recipes are done in their containers in the fridge, and now we're going to quickly take care of our mess. I wasn't going to film the cleaning, but I know you guys love to see the cleaning. You love the mess just taken care of, and girl, I do too. So let's get to it. Let's take care of these dishes, wipe everything down, so that way the kitchen is fresh and ready to go for the morning. The dishwasher is started. I have a few things on the counter to put away, wiping them down next. And I'm glad I remembered to say this. If you have any easy recipes for meal prepping that you want to share, please leave them in the comments. It could be breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, dessert, whatever you like, anything that's going to save all this time, write it below. Here's the after of the fridge now that everything is prepped and ready to go. I like the meal prep containers at the top so I can see them. It's like a conscious reminder. The greens are up there for the same reason. So I open the fridge, I see salad stuff, and I know I should be eating a salad and eating healthier. We have rice up there ready to go. We have pasta ready. We have both of the things I just made up there and tomato soup. So a lot of things that are at an arm's reach that I just need to warm up in the microwave and hopefully will help me to make healthier choices choices than just grabbing a bag of chips and then I wanted to show you how all of the other shelves turned out I recently went through these drawers so I didn't worry about it in the video but they're filled with vegetables and then I will show you the drawer and that is everything I hope that you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for spending the time with me please like the video if you haven't yet please subscribe if you're new I would love to have you and I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video bye Thank you.